test history. The second big function of Evolve Center Analytics is test history. This allows us to compare the historical data of how your centers are performing overall. The default view shows the data in bar graphs or pie charts across all your learning centers and qualifications for the past six months with pass, fail and no-shows color-coded. In this example, we can see four sets of tests which can be reviewed. This tool is ideal for curriculum managers to quickly see which tests and centres are performing best. You're able to view historical data for a particular centre and test by searching for it in the search boxes, as well as compare historical data over two date ranges, enabling you to identify trends, strengths and weaknesses in exam delivery and performance. In order to implement Compare, simply tick the Compare box, then untick it to reset back to normal. So, let's do a search for all functional skills tests between May and November. In this example, the default settings are already in place. For Centre, we have already selected 1234569999TRNG, City and Guilds Trainers Centre. And in the Qualifications search bar, we entered 3748 for functional skills. Then click the blue search button to display the results of the test below. In this example, let's choose the qualification 3748110, Functional Skills, Reading Level 1. If we click on the plus button on the left, it shows how your centre performed against the City and Guild's global average, which allows you to understand if the issues are isolated to your organisation or across other centres. We can also look at the Mark Distribution tab, which shows us exactly how well students are performing. In this example, we can see that three students achieved 40% and eight students achieved 10%. Above the bar graph, there are a few extra options, such as you're able to view the candidate list to see who took the test, the near pass results of candidates, which then allows them to resit the test with minimal extra support, and the overall centre performance for the selected test. The centre performance tab is particularly useful to understand the strengths and weaknesses of all candidates for a specific centre during a specific date range. Here, we can see that there are four learning outcomes for this test and the average score of all the candidates for each learning outcome. Find out more at www.cityandguilds.com forward slash Evolve Centre Analytics.